Hey everyone, Colin Tedder's here. And as we begin to close the door on 2023, I think it's time we start looking forward to 2024. It kind of goes without saying that a lot of the stocks that have skyrocketed here in 2023 have been connected in some way or another to artificial intelligence. NVIDIA, the kind of the poster child of AI, that stock's up like 230%. Microsoft and Google are up over 50%. AMD is up 100% this year alone. And, and look, the list goes on and on. And one question on many investors' mind, maybe yourself included, is will AI stocks continue to work next year in 2024? Or is AI some kind of bubble that's gonna pop, like the internet bubble and uh, like the housing bubble? Is AI going to uh, pop like a bubble here pretty soon? And some investors actually believe this is gonna happen. Just this last week, former Cisco system CEO, John Chambers said, there's going to be a bubble in AI and there's gonna be some real train wrecks within it. Michael Burry, who's immortalized in the big short novel. There, there's a book, if you don't like reading, there's a movie, It's both are pretty good. He thinks that train wreck is coming soon, but to the semiconductor industry. Just a few weeks ago, Michael Burry disclosed nearly half of his firm's investment portfolio was short semiconductor stocks like AMD, Nvidia, and Broadcom. Now that trade couldn't have been more poorly timed. The Sox ETF, he was shorting is up over 8.5% just over the past month. And this dude is leveraged short this trade. So if he's still in it, he's down orders of magnitude on that trade. But the truth is Michael Burry and many other investors, they've been wrong about AI all year, but could they be right heading into 2024? Will the tides turn and technology stocks start to head lower? After all, many other sectors like energy, consumer staples, healthcare, they haven't performed well this year. AI has done spectacular. So is it that we are heading into a time where AI is a bubble? I'm here to tell you, we got some clues this week that that's probably not the case. This week, AMD released its highly anticipated MI300 AI super chip. It's the company's answer to like NVIDIA's wildly successful Hopper GPUs that are, that are being bought up like hotcakes. The truth is though, we've known for months, months, that this MI300 chip from AMD has been coming. In fact, back in July, I talked about AMD being one of three AI stocks that you must own. That was back in July. I'll have a link to that down below. I talked about the MI300 back in July. And look, I'm sure many of you have been aware of AMD's entry into the chip market for quite some time now, okay? I'm not the only one that knows this. And yet when AMD announced this chip was finally wildly available, shares of the chip maker soared 9% this week. The truth is the market is still just beginning to grasp what's going on in the semiconductor industry. Investors like Michael Burry and others are missing out on a bigger picture. The buyers of semiconductors from NVIDIA, AMD, and Broadcom, they're not you and me. We, we might be stretched thin when we go to the supermarkets and see $9 boxes of cereal, or we go to the gas station and see $5 a gallon gas. Our wages may not have kept up with inflation, and some of us might be using credit cards just to get by. But that's not who's buying AI super chips. Google, Microsoft, Amazon have hundreds of billions of dollars at their fingertips. And each of these three companies, AI and data center revenue is the fastest growing part of their businesses. According to many experts in the industry, demand for AI super chips is expected to increase 50% per year for the next five years, largely because the customers of these chips have plenty of money to spend on them. And there's no indication right now that these mega technology companies are gonna slow down spending on AI hardware anytime soon. In fact, it's just the opposite. Take Google, for example. We've known for months this company was working on something, okay? They have their Gemini AI model that is coming from DeepMind. Investors have been patiently waiting, well, some investors, I haven't been patiently waiting for Google to deliver this product, but many of you have been patiently waiting for them to deliver this product. And they are ready to prove, they are ready to compete 
with OpenAI's ChatGPT. This week, Google delivered, sort of, okay? The company released a video showing off Gemini and claims that it was better than ChatGPT nearly across the board. So what was the catch? The high-end model Google touted isn't actually available yet. And a smaller model for the phone wasn't ready for public use either, although it's, it's going to be ready here soon. But investors didn't care. Shares of Google shot up over 5% on a single day. That's right. A video, a trailer about a product that wasn't widely available yet sent shares of one of the world's most valuable companies up 5% in a single day. So what does this all mean? The AMD news, the Google news, what does this all mean? It means the AI race is just beginning. Microsoft and OpenAI are going to shoot right back at Google with their next version of ChatGPT, likely very soon, probably within the next 30 days. And, and what about Apple? Google is going to ship a phone with a custom AI model built right into it. Does anyone out there really believe Apple won't be investing heavily over the next year to make sure it doesn't get left behind? In many ways, in many ways, the AI race hasn't even begun. With companies like Google releasing glorified trailers and waiting lists for products, what's going to happen when they actually start to roll these features out to their users? When is Gemini going to be available for like Google search, for example? What's going to happen to Google stock when they actually start to make money on this stuff? That question remains to be seen. But what is crystal clear at this moment is one thing, the world's richest companies are in for an all out war when it comes to AI. And all of them, all of them have enough money to wage this war for a lot longer than investors realize. That was the Bleeding Edge for today. Have a great weekend. My name is Colin Tedders, and I'll see you again soon.